All right, quick update on the Bitcoin news. So it seems like Panama has become the most recent country uh, to pass a bill regulating Bitcoin. This is very, very interesting. Uh, just a quick video jumping through this article uh, and pointing out the key bits of information. As you can see here, like we said, Panama has approved a bill regulating the use of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as payment. The goal is to foster job creation and make the country a leading technology hub in Latin America, a congressman said. There will be no capital gains tax on Bitcoin investments either, which is very, very nice. Uh, this bill reminds me exactly of the El Salvador bill. Uh, I imagine, you know, it was at least somewhat inspired by El Salvador. Uh, but nonetheless, very, very interesting stuff going on here. Uh, as you can see as well, over 50% of Panama's population doesn't have a bank account. And I, I think this is very, very similar in a lot of the countries around Latin America and, you know, countries near the Caribbean. A lot of their a lot of their people do not have bank accounts. I mean, it's it's the same in India as well. Obviously, India is nowhere near those other two places I just mentioned. Uh, but there's a lot of places in the world that don't have a large majority of their population banked, and Latin America is one of them. So having Latin American countries adopt is very very good. Like I said here, as you can see, over 50% of Panama's population does not have a bank account. This then helps people participate. In in the digital economy and receive payments from tourists that come to Panama. Very, very cool. Very, very interesting. So that is pretty much uh, everything uh, in terms of the news. You can also see here it mentions El Salvador. So uh, despite creating a framework for the uses of Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies as a payment methods in the Panama economy, uh, the country is not making Bitcoin a legal tender to the likes of El Salvador or the Central African Republic. So a very, very slight difference in the El Salvadorian bill. Uh, however, very, very much hand in hand with the fact that there's no capital gains or tax on Bitcoin investments. It seems like they what they want to do this as more of a as, as like a additional payment system uh, rather than making it their main payment system, which is completely fine. Uh, any adoption is good. Uh, as you can see, El Salvador became the first country in the world to adopt Bitcoin as a legal currency last year. And the Central African Republic yesterday became the second nation to do so. So that's very interesting as well. There's a lot of Bitcoin adoption going on recently. You know, it's come to the phase where at this point in time, uh, the Bitcoin haters, the Bitcoin dinosaurs, the people who don't like Bitcoin, they're, they're now coming to the stage where they're like, oh, you know, Panama's not that big of an economy, El Salvador's not that big of, a, an, an, of an economy, these African republics aren't that big. You know, it's, it's come to the point where, you know, a few years ago, everyone was saying, you know, Bitcoin's a scam, it's only used by drug dealers and criminals. Now it's only used by small countries. So we're getting there, we're getting there step by step. But yeah, that's all the news today. Very interesting stuff. Uh, as always, none of this is financial advice. Yeah, just going through the news. Uh, I have recently created the Cowboy Discord. If you did want to join that, the link to that is in the description of this video down below. Yeah, that's all I've got for you today. Cowboy out. Peace.